Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I am here with Dave Reinitz, Ron Placone, and Steph Zamorano, the miserable liberal. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Yeah, so let's get to some of this. Well, there's a women's march happening at the end of October. Remember the big women's march they had in January? There's a 700 billion zillion people showed up to. I was there. We did a video, a couple of videos on it. And uh, our problem was there was it was a women's march about nothing. Right. Was it a march for Medicare for all? Was it a march for fair taxes? Was it a march for free college? Was it a march to end a war? It was just a march to let everybody know we didn't like Trump. And that's fine. That's all. That's OK, too. I think we could do better. And so anyway, they're having another one of the Women's March, and it's going to be in Detroit, October 27th through 29th. And they have uh, the opening night speaker. Uh, they, they announced it. It's going to be Bernie Sanders. The Women's March says we are so. By the way, this is being uh, organized by women of color. Uh, I still, what, what I saw, there was many women of color involved in the organizing of this event. Uh, we are so excited to have Senator Sanders join us at the Women's Convention on October 27th through 29th. He's delivering the opening night speech at the Women's Convention. Gloria Steinem said he made him an honorary woman, so I, I think that makes sense, right? Hmm. Cue the corporate Democrats who hate Bernie Sanders. Oh, no. Here comes Neera Tandon, a fucking cancer on society. <laughs> Neera Tandon. <laughs> Pretty amazing. How did the Women's March not find any women for this gig? Unfollowing. <laughs> the Women's March. She's, got, she's had it with the Women's March. Her and Joy Reid, by the way. She goes, so there were no women available to open the Women's Convention? So that this is all, again, corporate Democrats. Uh, there's a, I don't know, corporate horrible people. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> and so here is Tamika D. Mallory. She's one of the people organizing it, women of color. She said over 60 speakers are currently lined up and only two of them are men. Why so sexist? <laughs> uh, Katie Help, uh, Katie Helper, a friend of the show, she can imagine if neoliberal feminists were as outraged about the low minimum wage as they are about Sanders speaking at the women's convention. <laughs> nice, Katie. Bam. Here is the president of Emily's List. Emily's List, big Hillary Clinton supporter. Emily's List says, this choice sends the wrong message. We reached out to the Women's March organizers to share our disappointment and offer our help. Ugh. What? Nomi Kantz then tweeted, the president of Emily's List, is an institution criticized for financially backing wealthy women while raising money off young women of color, says this. Nice. Gets even better. So Emily's List upset that they're having, even though there's 58 people's women speaking, only two men. Emily's List is oh, so disappointed. We reached out to try to help them. Oh, Bill Clinton to headline Emily's List Gala. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah. oh, corporate Democrats. You know, when you point the finger at someone else, you have three completely disgusting ri corporate riddled with corporate cash fingers pointing back at you. And there it is. Turns out former President Bill Clinton is delivering the keynote address during Emily's List 31st annual dinner and, gal and wards gala. We are thrilled that President Clinton will be able to speak to our community about the need for women's leadership in 2016. <laughs> no, no, Bill Clinton, no. <laughs> Bill Clinton, you know, wow. he'll, he'll tell you how to get a woman's leadership. Uh, you pull her leadership down and you come on her. Uh, <laughs> I, I hear that he'll be passing out cigars at the event. You're going to pass. Oh, <laughs> maybe he'll be passing out cigars and maybe he'll get me. I wonder if at that event he did, did a little something on an intern's dress. He'll be yeah. passing out Tide sticks just in case. He He's figured out how to lead them from behind. <laughs> <laughs> President Clinton has a long history of advocating for women in politics. Is that what you call it? Advocating? <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Man, is that tying a bow on it. Wow. <laughs> advocating. From the top of the ticket down. Is oh. that what you're... I think that's what... That's it, a sex joke. Yeah, that is. Pretty right? sure that's, the, yeah, they, yeah, they slipped a sex joke Oh, in boy, there. I got... I sat on my ticket. I hate it when people tell oh. jokes and don't know they're telling them. That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Unwittingly hilarious. Thank you, Emily's List. Unwittingly hilarious and reveals you to be a craven liar. 
right? You're not upset about, you are upset about Bernie Sanders, but not for the reason you're giving. You don't care if a guy speaks at a woman's event. Look at that. But does, does, do they know? Like, are they aware? Is there any self-awareness? To no. The fact that, I mean, how do you do that? How do you uh, wake up in the morning and object no pr- to a feminist voice speaking at a feminist event that happens to be male, <laughs> and then at the same time you're booking Bill Clinton? <laughs> Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Why not just get Bill? Because I guess Bill Cosby wasn't available for Emily's list. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it wasn't going to be filmed, so Harvey Weinstein wasn't going to make yeah. it. <laughs> so there, here's there weren't of- enough plants for Harvey. Here's one of the organizers of the Women's March in Detroit. Here she is again. She says, Maxine Waters is the Women's Convention headliner. She's the keynote speaker, Maxine Waters. And you all may not have noticed, but we announced that weeks ago, reclaiming our time. Meaning, oh, and then she goes on to say, maybe folks should ask why mainstream media didn't give a black woman the same attention when she was announced as the headliner and speaker. Nice. Yes. Nice. Nice. Oh, really? So all, all you guys could do is talk about the white guy, but you couldn't talk about the black woman, who is the actually the headliner and keynote speaker. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I don't know. Kind maybe... of erasing women of color inside the women's movement. That's what that sounds like. Am I right, Steph? It's obviously Maxine Waters does not have a long history of advocating for women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's pretty new to the game, right? right? Like she's absolutely. It's weird as a comic when the MC is getting all the press, and not the headline. Yeah, right? yes. You know, in a statement to Vox, organizers with the Women's March defended the decision to give Sanders the opening night slot. They said that several prominent female Democrats, including Hillary effing Clinton, as well as Senator Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, and Kirsten Gillibrand, had been unable to attend. Hillary Clinton isn't even going to show up. She wasn't at the first woman's march. She's not at this woman's march. You know who was? Bernie Sanders. Guess what? You know, I, I guess because maybe she did, couldn't sell any books there. <laughs> Or nobody was going to interview her so she could shit on progressives at that at that thing. I don't know why. Why would why would she show up if it doesn't help help her? Well, she's Bill's date that night, ah. so she's going to the Emily list. Oh, that's list right. Thing. She went. <laughs> so there you go. Staffers for Harris and Warren confirmed that they were invited to participate at the event. So all around, just again, it's just another shit show from the corporate Democrats. Just another unbelievable exposing them to have absolutely no character, craven pieces of it. That's who Neera Tandon is. That's who Emily's list, this woman. They're just horrible. It's it's like we see through you, okay? And, uh, and anybody who doesn't see through you is in for a hard ride. And uh, just the most, we, these are the people we need to get rid of. These people should be Democrats. I mean, should be Republicans. Nira Tandon. You don't like Bernie Sanders? Go be a Republican. There's a party waiting for you. Uh, the Democrats uh, are either going to be taken over the, for, by the progressives, they're going to die. And they're pretty much dead right now. I don't know if you hear that rattle. That's the Democrats. That's their death rattle. They're fucking wiped out. And the most popular politician in the country continues to be shit on by the corporate Democrats in the most disingenuous ways possible. I bet you Rachel Maddow will cover this. Portland, Oregon, the Jimmy Dore Show is coming to the Alberta Rose Theater November 12th. And we're going to Burbank, California, November 6th, and the Hollywood Improv on October 16th. There's a link for tickets right down there. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for all links for all shows.